Omnia Coleman. Hi, this is Edie. We are at the House of Beans, and Mozart is with us as well, and Chopin. Um, we are doing a very fun challenge. We are doing a A and B, the Omnia stovetop oven against the Coleman oven. Um, I've never used this Coleman oven. We've done many recipes in the Omnia, which came out fabulous. We're doing this brownie mix. Um, doing the same ratio, making it in this bowl, and I will just half the mixture in each. Um, I'm not sure about the baking time yet of them, but as we go along in the video, I will let you know how long each of them took to bake. So come join me and we will mix these ingredients. So I'm just going to follow the instructions on these boxes and like I said, I'm going to make both of these in one bowl and half it. So this um, particular recipe calls for water, vegetable oil, and one egg. Let's start this. Omni oven versus Coleman, and we will turn on the three burner camping stove outside. So come follow me. So we're outside on our three burner camp chef stove. We have the Coleman oven and we have the Omni oven. We will preheat um, the Coleman oven to 325, and I will kind of heat up the uh, Omni oven a little bit and challenge will begin. So it's been about uh, 38 minutes and I think they're done. The recipe box says to um, turn off the, the stove maybe a couple minutes beforehand. So as it cools, it, it still continues to bake and that's what we're doing. So I'm turning them off and we're um, taking them back into the house of bean. Let's do it. So. Brownies are out of the Coleman oven and out of the Omni oven. They've cooled down a tad and let us cut into it. Well, I could see that it's probably the pan that I used that the edges burned a tiny bit. I mean, totally edible, totally good. Maybe the Coleman was a little too hot. I don't know yet. It was my first time baking anything in it at all. So now let's cut into the Omnia. Let's 
see if it comes out a little easier for me. It, uh, it's the same, same difference. It does come out easier, yes. Maybe because that's silicone and maybe next time I'll use a different pan. But. Proof is in the taste. Let's try it. it. So this is Coleman and this is Omnia. Let's see. I like brownies no matter what. Who can eat brownies with a fork? What do you think? The first one's a little... Dry? No. It has a bit of a burnt flavor. Maybe both the heat on each oven was a little high. That's the only uh, guess that I'm able to, to make. But clearly it doesn't matter because I'm still eating it. Well, in summary, I think the bottom of that is crispier versus this one. They both taste exactly the same. They both cook mm -hmm. the exact same time. Correct. So, yeah. Which device is actually more convenient to use? Size-wise, definitely the Omnia. Okay. Um, although this this is the Coleman is very fun also, but it's of course takes up more space. Not when you fold it down. Not when you fold it down. No. You know what? I honestly don't have a preference. I think. Just because of the silicone, I, I like the Omnia better, but once again, I can change pans easily for the Coleman. So in closing, we have no conclusion. Correct. Okay. If you have any tips, tricks, suggestions for me for my next brownie session, in the comments below, please let me know. I would love to read them. If you like this fun content, Please show Stu and I some love and Mozart and Chopin with Little House of Beans. Some love, hit the like button. I wanna read all your comments. Hit the subscribe button more importantly and uh, hit the notification button. And we will see you in our next venture. Try that again. <laughs> no, try it and cover it, okay.